What is going on you guys? This is Jonathan and welcome to Garage Denali. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the steering wheel on your Crown Victoria. Uh, it's kind of tricky on how to change this wheel. Uh, the videos that are out there online don't really explain too well or don't really show you too well how to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video exactly how to do that. As you can see here mine is worn quite a bit. It's uh, missing a chunk out of it right here. The buttons are you know, decently worn and all around it doesn't really look too nice. And what I'm going to be replacing it with is this right here. So as you can see, let's get some light on it. This is basically a like new wheel. This wheel is basically brand new, except it's got a couple wear signs around it somewhere. I can't find it now. But yeah, this is basically a condition 9.5 out of 10. So you see the buttons are nice and reflective. They have, uh, you know, their texture on them. The wheel is nice and and you know sleek looking it's, it's basically a, a brand new polyurethane wheel so in this video I'm gonna be swapping these wheels and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so what you're going to be doing is because it's a bit tricky what you need is a four millimeter allen key if you look in here you see when you put the allen key at a 45 degree angle there's a spring and you're pushing on that spring so you can so you can release the airbag so you can get the wheel off and you're doing that with both holes so you want to put your allen key at 45 degrees and you're just pushing on the clock spring you're pushing on the spring right here and you're doing that on both sides that is the tricky part some people say you need a special tool generally that's not really the case all you need is one of these uh, allen keys and you can get it out so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so, first and foremost, what you want to do is disconnect your battery. We're removing the airbag from the wheel, and we don't want to risk deploying the airbag, so you want to disconnect the battery, positive terminal from under the hood. Afterwards, you want to wait like 15-20 minutes, make sure everything is okay, because we are doing a little bit of electrical work. I mean, when I say electrical work, we're just unplugging and plugging stuff in, and we don't want to jeopardize anything, so just make sure you do that. Alright, so I got the other side loose, and... What you want to do here is with your Allen key, you want to just tap inside until you can hear it hitting the metal, the metal spring. So just feel feel around and tap with the key until you hear that metal noise, because that's basically when you reach the spring. And when you put force on it, you want to pull the wheel at the same time with, or the airbag at the same time with the other hand. So as you can see, the left side's already broken loose, but as for the other side, see right there. That's where my spring is. Everything else that I'm hitting, that's plastic. But right there, that's where the spring is. So that's when you know you've hit it. You just press inwards because basically you're forcing each of the arms of the spring to, to bend inwards like this. The top portions bend in like that. And then the bottom portions bend in the other way. So they all kind of, you know, swivel towards the center. So that's what you're trying to do. Okay. So, what I just did was I put, I put my Allen key and then I used the palm of my hand to exert some force on it and it just popped out because these two sides here were already loose and as soon as I was able to apply the right amount of pressure, this just popped out on its own. So, you kind of have to play around with it a little bit with how you're holding your key and the way you're exerting force, but it, it does work. You know, eventually it comes out. It, it can be tedious, but it's doable. Alright, I got it. So, it might be easier, like I said, when you get the Allen key in there, just use the palm of your hand and you're forcing the pin inwards, like I showed you in the video. And it should release by itself. Like the first one or two, you might have to pull on it with your other hand. But once one side is done, the other should pop out. Just be careful as you're prying it that the pins don't lock back into place because then you got to go back and redo that. So at this point, the airbag is ready to come out. You want to gently pull it forward, and then we have a couple of pins here that we need to remove. So we have a couple of connections here that we need to remove. So what you want to do is, if you notice, there's a couple pinch grips. You just pull on those, and the airbag cables come out. So just pull on each of those gently, there you go. And of course you want to unhook this connector here. Just 
pull it straight out. All right, so basically your airbag is now free, so just fish that wire through there, and there you go, there's your airbag. So just so you guys can see, in the holes there, there's each of the springs. So if I take my Allen key, probably can't even tell now, but there you go. You can see the spring moving. You're getting that spring out of the way because the airbag is held in with these hooks here. So that's our whole objective. So now we gotta get this center nut off and then the wheel is ready to come out. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're grabbing a Torx T50 bit here and you're getting a, I'm using a 3 8 drive ratchet here. So you wanna make sure that this is firm here so that you don't strip this pole because if you do, you're pretty much screwed. So get the proper size bit here, the proper size component. So get the proper size tool here and you're gonna just get this out. It may help to sit in the seat and use your knees to hold the wheel straight, but eventually if you apply about 30 or so pound-feet of torque, you will break the nut free. So then just gently get it out. Alright, so now the next step that you need to do here to get this wheel off, since it's actually being very stubborn to get off, you're going to have to buy, or if you don't have one, yeah, you're going to have to buy one of these jaw gear pullers. So, this is a tool that we're going to use to exert force on the center of the wheel, um, you know, where the bolt is, while at the same time the jaws kind of help pull it out, so we can get the wheel off, because this is just straight up not coming out. So get your tool. In the position, so what you want to do is you want to take one bracket and get it up here. I'll show you guys in a second where you're lining it up. And take the other jaw and just stick it right down here. Make sure you don't pinch any wires because that would not be good if you do. So just get a, a decent grip on it and then you want to start tightening it. So just to give you guys an idea, this is what I'm doing here. So you have one jaw right up here, one at the bottom, getting a good grip on the wheel. And then you're going to take your screw here, your bolt, and you're going to exert force in the center to get the wheel off. So that's what we're doing. Okay guys, after unimaginable frustration and banging and yelling and this happening, make sure you always use quality tools when you do any job really. I finally got it broken. So, now take your nut out, wheel comes right out, make sure you watch the wires here, feed them through, and you can take your wheel off. So, there we go. You'll notice here in the center of the wheel there's a couple flat spots, and these will match up perfectly on the uh, shaft here in the center with the, uh, with the wheel. And on top of that, you also want to note that there's a little triangle here on the uh, clock spring here, as well as on the top, here on this top portion. There are two arrows, and one of them even says top. So you always want to make sure that these two are centered, that they're perfectly aligned. There's two flat spots right here on this shaft, where the steering wheel bolts onto, and this matches up with two little nudges right here in the center. You can kind of see them a little bit. That's how those line up. And you have two little triangles here. You want to make sure that these are perfectly centered and lined up because we want to make sure our clock spring is accurate. So that's important. Make sure that's all centered before you get your new wheel on. And uh, now you're new, ready to get your wheel on. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your wires and feed them through. And then make sure your wheel is aligned because it's not gonna go on otherwise. So make sure everything is all squared away. So after you do that, you wanna take your bolt here and you wanna use a little bit of thread locker. Make sure that this bolt will not come out because ideally you only wanna do this job once and you wanna make sure that your steering wheel is secured to your car, go figure. So take your thread locker here and you're gonna apply just a little bit to your bolt and then you get it on. You wanna put a little bit of thread locker on your bolt here for the steering wheel 
You only want to do this job once, assuming that's why you're putting a new wheel on. You only want to do this job once, and that's usually why you're putting a new wheel on. So you want to make sure that the bolt here is not going to come loose, especially under vibrations and it being used. So we're going to add a little bit of thread locker here on our bolt. So that'll be good. So this will not come loose and it'll stay on here forever. So just do a little bit of that, then get your bolt on, and then we're gonna screw it on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this down to about 30 pound feet, so ideally you wanna use a torque wrench. So get the bolt on to about 30 pound feet of torque, so that way you're sure that the bolt is not gonna come loose. And after that, you're ready to hook up your airbag back on. All right guys, so after you have your bolt in there nice and centered, we're gonna take our connector right here, our plugs, get these in. Okay, make sure that's all good to go. Now we're gonna get our airbag and get this installed. So now that you have your airbag, what you wanna do is you wanna fish it again through the clamp here that it was on before. You also wanna be careful not to scratch your new wheel. So get that fished in, get your connections plugged in. Make sure the black goes to black, the white goes to white. Can't really mess it up. Take your other wire here. This, I'm assuming, is your ground. So get this plugged back in here. Okay, nice and firm. And then, after you're sure everything is secured, just pop your airbag back on. Make sure you get the pins to line up. all four points and then you apply an even amount of pressure right in the center. Just like that. And would you look at that? Nice new wheel. It's literally brand new. There's only like one or two wear marks on it so this probably came from a car that was not really used all too much or it could have just been a brand new one. Uh, I got this off of somebody. But there you go. Make sure all your connections are firm. Get the airbag back on. Afterwards we're going to hook up the battery again and uh, that's it. You're good to go. So right there this is the DIY on how to change the steering wheel on a Crown Victoria. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out my channel for more videos. Thank you very much, and take care.